I'm glad you're safe. I was so scared I would lose my precious son. It's risky for me just being out here. Fortunately, you didn't need my help. I'm so proud that I got to see my son defeat the king. Hopefully the lesser puppets will die down soon. Now that the king is dead, the puppets have no leader, no direction. But the curse of the petrification disease still lingers. It's tough, but I know where you should go now. The Grand Exhibition. Rumors say the alchemists there have developed a cure. As a man of invention, I'm skeptical of the alchemists, both their science and their motives. But they may be the city's last hope. Won't you help me, son? Take this. You'll find it most useful. If it will help Antonia and the others, it's worth exploring. Go to the Grand Exhibition and see what you can find. <sighs> that one puppet could control so many others. That's a memorable feat indeed. Unlike a real king, the puppet left no heir. The remaining puppets are leaderless, and we can reclaim the city. But it's still a city beset by the petrification disease. Seek a cure from the alchemists at the Grand Exhibition. That one puppet could control. Unlike a real... But it's still a... look utterly down, depressed even. And that seems weird. That's weird, right? from their tail sockets. I'm not even sure they can function without the king to guide them.
Antonia's condition is getting worse. I knew it would come to this. The petrification disease locks people inside a cage, inside their own bodies. We're all safe, thanks to her sacrifice. But I wish for a miracle to save me as well. I'll use my power to... You. When you reach a certain age, it's a comfort to reflect on old memories. <laughs> I was so feisty, so fearless back then. I loved the, the passion of those days is long gone, but I I'm curious what your young eyes see. Is there any reason? I still have any reason. <laughs> Geppetto even taught you good manners. Yes, those beautiful memories are still vivid. Time. Time and the memories that fill it are all we have. I hope you're making some good memories of your own. They may be a comfort to you someday. People have no idea so many thanks for keeping me company. That book reminds me. Have you ever heard the fairy tale about an all of crap? Who? A great weapon calls for a great warrior.
house of Anini, even... Ah, I heard you defeated the King of Puppets. Amazing! Ah, the Puppets appear lost without their leader. They have no purpose, no focus. To think one can have so much control through ergo waves. If we don't determine who or what is causing it, this could all happen again tomorrow. I fear I must call upon you again, my friend. Please gather records of the puppet's ergo waves while you're defeating them. I always welcome friends. way around. Good sir. At last, we speak frankly instead of with professional reserve. I have something to confess. Something involving your unique perspective. I am a puppet whose ego has awoken. I don't know exactly why, and we need not dwell on the details. Instead, I wish to dwell on the welfare of Lady Antonia. I... Adore, Lady Antonia. It is a presumptuous feeling for a puppet to have, to be sure. I have no intention of putting myself forward, of course. However, I cannot watch her die. It's too painful. Thus, I need your unique perspective. You exist somewhere between human and puppet. Can a puppet and a human fall in love? Have you ever met a puppet who loves a human? It 
exists indeed. An unbelievable love, to be sure. With a wedding ring as its symbol. I fear even trying to pursue such a splendid happiness. I have no intention of telling her, of course. It wouldn't be proper to burden someone so frail. If I may be frank, this is better than I dared hope. Even if you are telling me a sweet lie, I shall savor it. Thank you. It was wise to confide in you. Thank you for granting me that wisdom. No matter what fate brings us, serving her is welcome to Hotel Crop. Stalker, please, if you... It's almost as if something is growing out of the portrait. I remember commissioning that piece from an artist named D. Gray. Like all artists, he was eccentric. He claimed that a painting could harbor a living soul. But how can that happen? Just like the fairy tale. Forgive a foolish man his ramblings. Perhaps the seed of its growth was there all along. I know you're curious, so see for yourself. I have my work to keep me busy. You don't remember much.
the record. 